The fishing industry along Japan's northeastern coast is still struggling to stay in business a year on from the Fukushima nuclear disaster. The March 11th earthquake and tsunami set three reactors of the region's nuclear plant into meltdown. In the fishing town of Iwaki, the subsequent radiation leaks were a huge blow. Our spirits are down and we want fishing operations to resume as soon as possible. Consumer worries about seafood safety is more of a concern than radiation scares. We help out with the monitoring in the hope that one day consumers will return to eating our delicious local fish. Officials have tested close to 3,000 fish samples over the past year. They're due to announce the results of a contamination test from newborn fish on Wednesday. Radiation fears continue to affect those living in Fukushima City. While readings have fallen considerably, many parents still forbid their children to play outside. So instead, Japan's Red Cross have set up an indoor playground. There are lots of people worried about radiation, especially parents who don't want to let their children play outside. So we decided to start this sort of indoor play area to allow children to run around and have some fun. But the play centre is just temporary. Parents are campaigning to force the city government to provide a more long-term facility for their youngsters, suggesting that many feel radiation fears are unlikely to die away anytime soon.